character I created and what's my inspiration. I think about it all the time, but mm-hmm. never putting it together. And I wake every day thinking of what I'm going to do next. I do historical and contemporary uh, quilts of persons and events in the African diaspora. I do uh, fused fabric. I don't do piecings and, you know, I, I, mean, I do some, but my main uh, focus is on uh, the fusion of fabrics as a background for a quilt as opposed to uh, blocks and triangles and, you know, that kind of work. Uh-huh. So, yeah, so that quilt was a fusion of fabrics. And so there's over 2,000 pieces of fused fabric on canvas. Wow. Uh, and then on top of that, I do the uh, digital uh, information, digital photos, uh, memorabilia of the actual uh, subject. Mm-hmm. So in that particular case was a uh, a woman in the uh, from Oakland who had written a, a historical account of African Americans in California. Mm-hmm. So it was a celebration of her and um, um, and the artifacts around her, and she was a you know a swift spiffy dresser <laughs> so she wore hats and beautiful scarves and she was in you know like 1910s 20s and 30s mm-hmm. so she dressed to the nines you know so i i had to uh, i wanted always want the photo of the person who is the subject so the photos and all of the items that are actually adhered to the quilt are uh digital photos printed on fabric mm-hmm. so I uh, uh, printed her her face and then of course uh, I was going from a photo that she had and she had on a beautiful hat and she had beautiful lace collar because the ladies wore lots of lace at their necks mm-hmm. and, uh, and cuffs in those days so I made it 3D it was 3D actually so it was an actual um, velvet hat with lace on it and actual um, lace scarf that that flowed out from the quilt. Please describe the pieces you submitted for the show. Uh, it was some batik. It was a solid. Actually, it was a um, reverse of an African mask. Mm. And so it was cut out and uh, applied over batik fabric beautiful and all the the dead spaces in the actual figure of the mask was beaded all around it i do love the uh the study and uh the research for each person and so i try to incorporate their lives um the highlight of their lives on the quilt Mm mm-hmm and the two quilts that I have that I just spoke of, the Martin Luther King quilt and the Ida B. Wells quilt, the background on the quilt is an actual American flag uh, and applied it to a piece, uh, 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 a fabric piece, and mm-hmm. then it was quilted. And then I applied the digital photos. Wow. So, no, I, I have respect for our flag and yeah. for our United States of yeah. America. Yeah. I have just total respect. Yeah. So it was done in a very respectful way. Sure. Anything else that you would like on your video, like um, how, how long you've been a quilter or how long you've been interested in history, and do you mm-hmm. only do African-American history? Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly focused on that, and, and uh, most – People don't open up books. They won't go do the research. So I do a visual book for people uh, so that they can walk up to it and, and, and identify with the activities of that person. Um, and so, and, and, for, and for kids also, you know, they, they like to see beautiful, bright colors and figures and things of that nature. And, um, so I just think it's a great way to, to get our um, um, history of our p- uh, people and events in the, uh, in the African diaspora. Um, so I will always just do that because I don't have that much time left. Let me just, I have mm-hmm. more time behind me. 
that had before <laughs> me. So I, <laughs> that, that's an old adage as well, too. I enjoy the historical research. Oh, I go to libraries. Um, I uh, visit places, especially the people that I have done uh, around California, this uh, particular lady, uh, uh, Delilah Beasley. Um, I've uh, visited her home, not inside the home, but I know the building where she lived. Um, pictures of my husband's uh, uh, his two great grandfathers, mm. who was included in her book, who came to uh, Stockton in 1849 wow. as freedmen. So it's the only, the only existing narrative of uh, trailblazing Negroes of California. Wow. Working on their quilts. I, be, I, I let him speak to me. Mm-hmm. Not in that twilight zone, nah, 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 mm-hmm. nah, 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 not that way, but uh, in a spiritual way. And, um, and they tell, she said, the Lila said, no, you put everything I tell you to put on there. Mm-hmm. And I did. <laughs> Well, Marcia, thank you so much for this very enjoyable interview and giving us a glimpse into your life as an historical quilter.